morning guys good morning we're finally about to go away for the first time in what seems like a while actually mm -hmm. for us anyway with how much we travel but we're going to amsterdam for a little weekend away really looking forward to it actually i've never been to amsterdam it looks beautiful i asked for a recommendation on twitter so many of you guys got back to me and got so many ideas now i'm really really looking forward to this little trip little weekend away and we are so proud of this one who won the Blogosphere in Photography Influencer of the Fair Year on. Award last night. I'm so proud of you. Oh. Look at this. Everybody who actually took two minutes to vote, um, I really, really appreciate it. It honestly has made my year so far. Oh. So thank you so much. You're so cute. Pulitzer Hotel. I've seen a lot of people stay here and it looks beautiful. It's in a really, really great location. Really gorgeous and it's got, well, <laughs> nice little hen party going by there. But um, it's got this awesome view of the canals, which is so nice. And it's just, it's just got some really cool little features. Like it's, but anyway, we're gonna now go out and do some exploring. I'm wearing this gorgeous Zara dress, um, but I've just thrown it just a really easy jump over it because I can't believe wearing a jacket. Let's go! I have missed these waffles. Mmm. <laughs> Let me have one. Mmm. Are they stoop waffles? Mmm. Mmm. First on our list of places to see, I saw all these amazing freak shakes on Instagram. Freak shakes. Freak shakes. Yeah. That's what she said, right? Yeah. I think that's I think what she said. So, yeah. Freak shakes. Not even on the menu. And I really, really wanted one. So um, we've come to here. This is called called Re Seven. And it's right near the Pulitzer. It's literally the street next to it. So we're gonna have one of these freak shakes. <laughs> oh my god, that looks amazing. <laughs> Look at this heart attack in a drink. <laughs> Literally the most ridiculous drink in the world. It's so good though. So good. It's like, look how boring I look next to you. It's <laughs> like both sides of our personality. Sugar and beer. <laughs> Pretty much is. That is so crazy though. I remember these from when I was a kid, they were called Astro Belts or Tiger yeah, Tongues. I love them. Delicious. Is this candy floss? Yeah, candy floss. Oh Lord. My and favourite. This. I don't even know what that is. It's probably icing sugar with that stuck to it. And then this literally tastes like Nesquik. No, it's delicious. Alex is getting angsty with me because I'm taking so long. We're now going to go out for some dinner. So I've changed, I've changed again. I'm wearing the same thing. Changed again. We're going to go out for some yummy dinner. I've got loads of recommendations from you guys on my Instagram. I've been going through every single comment. I've been finding them on the map. I've been looking at their Instagrams and I'm still just like oh I don't know where to go so we're actually gonna go walk around and if we see any names that I've seen on my Instagram we're gonna stop so wish us luck so we asked the concierge at a hotel where he would recommend and he recommended this really cute little Italian called La Mascheria no is that not really? it's just the accent you always put on <laughs> So I've had my first wine in ages actually. I've not been ordering wine about it. I've had a Sauvignon Blanc. And I've ordered pasta. And it's a really, it's a nice, like, quieter area of the street. For having a little romantic day out. It's got like Florence vibes about it. Don't remember that yeah, pizza place we went yeah, to? It does a bit, yeah. That was the best pizza I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> For the nicest evening, we had that delicious Italian. I would really recommend that. It just feels really like it's all homemade. It's dead chilled. It was one of those kind of like hidden spots. So really, really enjoyed that. Anyway, we've just got back to the room. It's only about 9.15, 9.20, but we're going to get like showered and chilled and in bed. And I mean, it's a bit later UK time. So anyway, earlier on, I went to Louis Vuitton in the airport, which you've probably already maybe seen on my Instagram, potentially. Anyway, I thought I'd do like a tiny little unboxing for any of you guys that haven't seen it yet. Um, just to show you what I've got and what I think of it and um, why I bought it, I guess. So, I thought Alex could film this for me. Stephanie, you sit there. <laughs> I just thought that a lot of you guys love Louis Vuitton, so you may want to see what I got. Um, and just like a little tiny mini unboxing. So, in my bag, get my box. <laughs> in fact, in the airport, she was like, do you want a box or not? And at first I was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, yeah, of course I want a box. You don't like want to buy a bag and not get the box, do you? It comes in the Louis dust bag. Someone's being really nice outside. Definitely a stag do, isn't it? Nice little dust bag. This is the bag. 
bag that I got. It's a Clapton, the Clapton backpack. Oh, that's good to know. The Clapton backpack. So I've, I love the little Louis backpacks. I've seen so many bloggers with them, especially like a year or so ago. So I really love the whole monogram, the Louis monogram. I don't have any bags. I, I've got a couple of Louis bags and none with a monogram. So I was kind of drawn to this and the fact it's got the gorgeous like matte gold. In fact, I think this still has, um, it does, it's still got the protectant on it. I might leave that as long as possible. That'd be the first you thing I'd take tell. off. You can't tell, really. I'm gonna leave that as long as possible. It's like a matte gold and it's really beautiful, like almost lilac -y toned baby pink. And it goes all the way across the front flap, around to the back. And I really like this extra detail and it's just little bits that just make it really gorgeous. Over the top handle and the top handle looks like Tom Paris. I also love the fact it says LV here, but I just really wish you could get it monogrammed. I could have had VM, that would have been really, really nice. Yeah, and then it comes with the matching pink straps. And then the thing I really liked about this, I really like, I really like backpacks, as you might know. I've got a couple of different backpacks now. And I like with a lot of them how quite often you can change where the straps are and change up the bag. So the thing that me and Alex really liked about this bag when we saw it was the fact that you can either wear it as a backpack with the two long straps or you can take off the straps altogether and wear it as like a top handle bag. And I love the shape of this. Or you can take one off and then, as you can imagine, just add it to the top. And then you can wear it crossbody my crossbody or of course you can sort of wear it over one shoulder as well but as well the lady in the shop showed me so this is the way it looks like this but you can also push out the sides like this and then put this over the top like that so it's almost a bit of a bucket bag shape so then it's like a completely different bag <laughs> isn't it cute me and Alex really really loved it when we saw it and as soon as we saw that we're like ooh, because it kind of totally changes up the style of the bag and again then you can wear it like backpack style you can wear it crossbody whatever so in a way in the shop technically you've got eight bags in one here <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, I just love it. I love the colour of this pink with the gold and the monogram. I think they all just work so beautifully together. Alex was like, it looks like a Neapolitan ice cream. It totally yeah. does. It's got that golden tone pink and the, the brown. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I haven't bought myself a Louis Vuitton in a few, quite a few years, actually. And it was literally, we walked in the store, didn't we, in the airport, and straight away I went, oh my gosh, that bag's so gorgeous. And I wouldn't have tried it if the lady wasn't like, do you want to try it? I was like, okay. And then just totally fell for it, didn't I? And I tried it on every single way and was like, I just love it. I tried like three other backpacks on as well. But... Yeah, they just weren't the same. They weren't the same, whereas this one I think is just, it sits somewhere in between like super, super classy, sophisticated LV and something a bit more modern and fun and girly. Somewhere in between the two. That's why I really, really love it. And it's just really versatile. So I'm super pleased with it. Absolutely love it. Let me know, guys, what you think down below. Yeah, so this is my little unboxing. <laughs> I feel like I've not done one of these in a long time. But yeah, can't wait to hear what you think of this, guys. The Clapton Backpack. And I think it's super cute. Good morning. Sunday today. And... Then. It's not amazing weather, unfortunately. As long as it stays dry, it's the main thing. We are today, well to be honest, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do today. I've got like a few things that I wanna do, that I wanna see, and I'm gonna take some pictures of. So we're gonna go to breakfast first. We're going for breakfast in the Pulitzer. Um, yeah, so I will check in with you soon because I'm not overly sure what we're doing. But in terms of what I'm doing, what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing this really pretty dress. I just think this is absolutely beautiful, actually. I originally bypassed this on the website and then I was like, no, I'll give it a try. And actually, I think it's actually so beautiful and just a really easy one to wear because it's quite a lovely knee length dress. So I'm gonna wear that. And I'm gonna wear it with my beautiful new bag. Cause I think the colors work perfectly. So I'm excited about today. Some more exploring. We had a brilliant day yesterday, didn't we? We had so much fun yesterday. Mega, so. mega chill. Yeah. What do you think of Amsterdam then? I'm, I'm literally loving it. I actually want to move here now, I think. Stay I think there. it's beautiful. It's exactly what I thought it would be and more. Just so calm and relaxed. And I think we need to come here so much more, like city break. It's an hour and a half. No, it's an hour, you know. It's so quick and it's just so lovely and chilled. So I'm really, really enjoying it. I want these pink napkins. <laughs> this is where we were yesterday when we had our delicious shakes just straight down there. That's how near it is. I hope the weather gets a bit nicer. I'm literally just, just dying over how cute my little bag is. 
I just love it so much. Oh my god, yes. This brioche. I did not expect this. This looks awesome. Scrambled eggs and avos. I like she always, always copies me. <laughs> and a soya milk latte. Oh my gosh, guys. So many of you guys told me to come here to Van Wonderen Struppenwaffles because you can get loads of different toppings put on your waffles. And we found it. Naturally, we need one. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is amazing. Thank you so much to everyone that recommended Van Wonderen Stroop waffles to me. In fact, it was on my list of places to see. It's been on your bucket list for about five years. It's Stay on my list your lips. <laughs> Are they all, is it all over me? <laughs> oh no. It was on my list of, list of places that I wanted to find and then we just happened to walk past it, didn't we? How was it? Mm, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Not chocolate. What do you prefer, this, or do you prefer all the pasty British bods? Because of this scorching, <laughs> overcast weather, we're seeing how many dudes with their pasty bods out. Lads on tour. You're gonna demolish that thing. Oh my god, it's so good. Yes, we just waited like 40 minutes to get these. These better be the best vegan hot dogs ever. How is it? Any good? Is it really? What's hilarious is, I didn't realise you were going to put popcorn on them. Really? I didn't really think. put it down and I was like, who the bloody hell's ordered that? Really? Did you really? And I was like, what's on earth? And I was like, oh crap, that sounds. <laughs> really? Is it? And what's this? Onion? Onion rings. Oh. Onion. Yum. This looks insane. Good work, babe. <laughs> It's good, right? Mm. Popcorn is good. Yeah. I wonder what it's made of. It just tastes like a hot dog. It literally tastes like a hot dog. Oh yeah. Okay guys, little check-in, little update. So we ate our delicious food at Food Harlan. Hey Lynn, Harlan. Um, we come back to the hotel and we've had a little room swap. Um, this one is so pretty. This is the cozy suite that we're in now. I just wanted to take some gorgeous pictures for a blog post that I had planned. Um, and the hotel had one suite available for, for tonight. So they've um, upgraded us, so kindly upgraded us. So now we're in the cozy suite and it's literally perfect. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the whole hotel, every single room is perfect. I just needed a few little, little props. <laughs> So this is really nice, just gorgeous, sweet. I love this big mirror. So you've just got this little lounge area and then through into the bedroom. This is a different shape as well, isn't it, to the other one? I like yeah. this. Um, and then I really love this little chair. And it's just got a view out over this gorgeous garden as well. And then as well, it's got a bath. So this is just perfect because I really wanted a little bath as well. So I'm so, so happy. Yeah, it's also nice to be able to see a couple of the different rooms as well, actually. It's good to kind of get a, a feel for it. Me and Alex are now going to go get some coffees, I think. We've had a bit of an eventful day. We've done lots and lots of things, but we now... Oh, it's bright. We now fancy a little coffee. So we're going to go get some coffee. And then back here, and I have this blog post to shoot, which you will be seeing on the blog, hopefully now, if not very soon. These are so creepy. You're creepy. You are. Big beard. I oh, know. Do you think I should shave it? I think you should. You always do this, you go long, you go short, yeah, but then, you go long. Because I think it looks better if I do that. Before I was like, <laughs> I need to shave my beard. I'm like a pirate. Yeah. Pirate Alex. I love this little top. This, this doesn't come as part of the top. This is a Mew Mew lace. I just didn't have any lace to go through it, so I made my own. Time for dinner. Look what Alex is wearing. Stop admiring my pink t-shirt. I have been on it, Alex. I told oh Alex. God, she's not looking I told. Alone. I told him that blush pink is blush the, pink. the male colour of the season, and I knew he looked good in it. He's finally gone to H&M. This is fifteen pounds from H&M. Yeah. I prefer the hoodie. The hoodie's cool. I'm wearing, guys. No, Look no, out for no, you. No, I'm not there. Sorry. Yeah. Very nice thing. <laughs> But look how cute this outfit is! This is the most beautiful restaurant. Baby, you blend, oh, you you blend in though. You look really nice here. I want to take a picture of you. <laughs> yeah, you look gorgeous! Yeah, I know! These guys over here are so nice. They said, hey, they came out. We were taking pictures outside and they came out and said, hey, didn't they? We've met two people from Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Which is so. like a set of Argo, I think. Minnesota. Minnesota. The lighting is lovely. Oh, very nice lighting. Yes. 
So we, we are in Jan's, which is the restaurant, which is part of the Pulitzer Hotel. It's beautiful in here. It's so like aesthetic and pretty. I really like it. And I, the, the service is so nice. We're having the most romantic meal. Although I feel like everybody, no one has seen anyone wearing a black bullet top before because everyone likes to stare at me right now. <laughs> Do you like my bralette? Though? Your bralette? Yes, nice. I, I don't think it's too sexy, does it? It's pretty damn sexy. <laughs> no, but I mean, I feel like people are staring. People are staring at us because we've got cameras and we take loads of photos all the time. And it might be the fact you've got silver hair. I mean, I don't mind. Because I love it. It's so nice. And I'm wearing it with Anyway, we're going to have our nice romantic meal. I've got a lot of wine. I'm watching. Where are we gonna go? We'll go for a little walk. Okay, that sounds great. It's still so pretty outside. First course, my favorite pea soup. And this looks delicious. Pine nuts and cauliflower and mushroom and yummy. <laughs> Second course. This looks awesome. <laughs> and we got sides. And Alex got dough sole, which they deboned for him. This looks so good. good. Morning, guys. It's our last day in Amsterdam today. A lot of you guys recommended that we come to Coffees and Coconuts. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of you recommended it. So we've taken a little little drive down and we've come here and it is great. It's kind of like vegan, organic kind of vibe. I don't know if it is fully vegan. Is it fully vegan? No. It's not, but it's kind of that kind of thing. Really delicious, like, very healthy vibe stuff to eat. So it's very much, we were saying that if we lived here, we would definitely come here. Wouldn't I we? Would, I would travel from London to here to get this breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> is it great? It's really good. It does really look good. really good. Yeah. Breakfast Mexican burrito. Breakfast you love the Mexican breakfast burrito. Oh, yeah. and, right, and then this is amazing. I couldn't decide what I wanted. So this is almost like a little platter. You get the granola, you get the coconut pancakes, and you get the avo scrambled egg on toast and a fruit salad. So this is literally perfect. It's so nice in here. There's an upstairs bit and these tables are really cool. And there's a downstairs and then the bar is super nice. One thing they've done right, right what well, London and all these other places go around is these places are normally really, really small. So there's normally a massive queue outside. You can never get a table. Whereas this place is huge, like, and it's full. Isn't it? I mean, yeah. Mind you, if this was one tiny little cafe. Yeah, I know. Queue, like, what's that place in London called where there's queues all the way up like, around the back of it? Oh, Granger. Like Granger. Yeah, this is better than Granger. I've never been to Granger because it's always so busy. But anyway. It's like, overhyped, overhyped. They've nailed it. <laughs> They've nailed it. Right, I can tuck into this now. Okay, I just realised that I've gone from one cafe to another cafe. But we've just been walking around Amsterdam, got some beautiful flowers. Yeah, just enjoying the day because that's absolutely stunning weather today. But now we're in another recommendation. Thank you again to everyone who recommended this. This is Pluck in Amsterdam and it's literally two seconds from the Pulitzer, so it's perfect. And they do loads of like vegan and super healthy snacks. So I've got the Chaco Avocado cake. We've got sheep. And we're getting some, Alex is getting a mermaid bowl and I'm getting a unicorn bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was a great recommendation, guys. Well, first of all, this is delicious. Choco avocado cake. Mermaid bowl. Acai bowl. They actually mixed it up. I was meant to have the unicorn bowl, but I'm really quite pleased because I did really want the acai, and I kind of wish I'd ordered it. So this is perfect. Yeah, I think I want. Yours looks good. It usually comes with a mermaid tail sticking out, apparently. That's well nice. Yeah. Yummy. Yummy. Yeah, it does taste a bit apple-y. <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> We're just chilling out outside the Pulitzer Hotel. So we've got like nine and a half until we need to leave for the airport. So we're having like a chill time. After all that food, I'm really full. But then I'm still like craving bread for some reason. Now, tell me what you told me. Bread. That your throat is hungry. <laughs> my throat is hungry, full. but my stomach's full. <laughs> no, it's got no. It's like I've got. I could, what, what is it? Your throat I've got craving? a taste for butter and bread. Butter and bread. 
carbs. About healthy carbs. It's because we had that delicious acai bowl, but it wasn't really any carb in it, so it's, good, right? it's really nice. Just chilling here. I am so tired now. I'm really, 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 really tired. Really yeah. Cool. We're about to do our travelling home. You know, it's only like an hour, isn't it? Isn't like an hour. And then we land like we gain an hour as well. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch some TV and do some work in bed. You're probably gonna put it in your game all night. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>